I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, Scorpio. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly general reading, Scorpio, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, Scorpio, because that's how I keep up with y'all, see the comments. Um, as well, Scorpio, I would really appreciate it if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading that you were to take the extra step to support my tarot reading channel by giving this video a uh, like and subscribe, Scorpio, because it does help me out a lot. And I always appreciate it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me, Scorpio. And then finally, before we get into this tarot reading for you, Scorpio, I just want to say that I believe tarot cards, tarot readings are here to give you some perspective, some food for thought as you go throughout your week, right? But never making the decision in your life because I feel like, you know, it's your life to live, not mine. And I just don't feel comfortable ever telling you how you should live your life when, especially when it comes to like a general reading, right? Remember, these are just some tarot cards. This is your actual life that we're talking about here. So let's take it seriously. Um, let's take it seriously, right? Uh, so let's just get into your tarot reading now, uh, Scorpio. I actually feel drawn to, uh, let's pull a um, animal oracle card for you, Scorpio. I actually didn't do that for any of the other signs. Uh, I just feel drawn to like bring out an animal. So I also am going to say as well, Scorpio, um, pay attention to whatever animal, animal we draw. Start paying attention to your dreams and just like what you see, the animals that you see. Um, see if there's one like in relation to this, because that might be a sign from your spirit guides to just let you know that they're there. So for example, if I pull like a an Avery card, right? A bird. Um, pay attention to birds that are, are, are similar to it. But we have the ladybug for you. Now, for me, personally, Scorpio, um, I always see the ladybug as like the, is I see the ladybug as like a direct sign. You know how some people, uh, Scorpio, will see um, like angel feathers, white angel feathers, or white feathers, rather, like a sign from the angels. Um, I see this, uh, the ladybug as a sign from, from spirit, actually. Um, that's just like my own personal association. Maybe it has no relevance. Usually, I usually, 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 um, usually, Scorpio, I associate in this card coming forward. Um, I kind of usually get like an ancestral feel. So just like how some people, as I was saying with that white feather example, um, and they associating that with angels, I associate this ladybug as aside from usually like some ancestry tie doesn't have to be but that's just my own personal perception on it but let me read off the card as well for you scorpio uh this is a card that says this is a time of good fortune and abundance so be willing to receive all the good things in your life so this is really foreshadowing what is kind of cover what we're covering in your reading actually scorpio so this is like kind of this is a good omen of things so this is a week where it's just like Things are probably going to start ramping up for you, Scorpio, um, in a really good way. If, dare I say, your number one job would be to just maintain a, um, a as high of a as high of a vibration as you possibly can, Scorpio. Something I would just suggest um, because I just see things starting to um, take form. I see things starting to take form for you, and so it's just the best thing you can do at this time maintain just a high um an elevated mental state uh so let's get into your objective cards now scorpio your objective cards are the cards of the energy that you're going to be exuding uh this week and you know possibly be dealing with situations this week in your every day that put you into this place of the ten of wands and the king of cups so definitely a time of releasing a lot of emotional baggage for you scorpio whatever thing it does feel almost as if scorpio you guys are in this period of um i guess we'll say transition i didn't feel like saying tra transition at first because i don't feel like um much is really changing for you scorpio necessarily but almost just like releasing this mental baggage like you just are waking up each day and making a conscious effort of letting go of certain things you're making a conscious effort scorpio to um 
just decide certain things just don't matter anymore. You know, you think about it, it's like you're putting finally the perspective, Scorpio, of where it's just like, if it's not going to upset you, or if it's not going to matter in a week, or in a day, or in an hour, you're just going to keep it moving, <laughs> you know? <clears throat> I guess I'm, I'm sorry, Scorpio, but it's almost like uh, you're taking things just day by day rather than being so extremely stressed, so extremely, um, let's say, Scorpio, you, you're just so extremely focused on getting to some type of result. I feel like you still are trying to get to res a result, obviously, Scorpio, and you definitely are going to be getting results. I see that for sure, but um, you're no longer... It's a lot more of a carefree spirit that I'm feeling from you guys. A lot more, especially, I won't be surprised, I guess I'll say, Scorpio, if you guys do end up getting the Fool card coming forward in this reading, because I kind of, it feels like in that vein of energy. So let's see here. Can I actually, I want to pull some, um, let's look at like this emotional baggage that we talked about with the Ten of Wands and that King of Cups, right? Let's look at, see if we can get any insight on what detail that looks like for you, my Scorpios. Uh, we cannot take all of these though. We're taking, oh no, I guess we are taking these. So, no, oh yeah, right. I'm resistant Scorpio taking all these cards because it's normally not me, but very much so hearing very clearly that all these cards are relevant. So it's really like, <laughs> getting out of my comfort zone by using more cards than usual. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I'll talk about the cards I pulled first. We have Four of Swords coming in for you. So healing, as I was saying. Hanged Man, seeing a different perspective, as well as the Queen of Pentacles, uh, the Ten of Swords. This is what we were seeing. And then the Knight of Wands. So just give me a moment, Scorpio, as I figure out how Spirit wants this puzzle to go down, honey. Because right, we ended up pulling five cards for you when I normally like to just do three. So let's break this down a little bit. Um, this is all in the compass of, in the scope of healing, right? Four of Swords, this is what we talked about already with that King of Cups, Ten of Wands, releasing baggage. So that releasal, releasing of baggage, you're probably getting closure on some things, Scorpio. Now I don't... Mm, I get, I don't necessarily see this closure coming from outside sources. Does that make sense, Scorpio? I see this kind of coming inwardly with you because of the Hanged Man and the Queen of Pentacles coming in here. So this is why I feel like it's kind of like you being the one because it's like the Queen of Pentacles is a very much so just like to herself type of energy. Um, and so when you have this with the Hanged Man where it's just like you're committing to... Um, the, the, something's shifting like your perspective on something and you're just committing to this thought process. I see this kind of inwardly. I see this where it's just like no one else is really around you to witness this hanged man moment that you're having. This all just feels very introspective. You guys probably, Scorpio, have been in the state of feeling like a hermit for a while. Dare I say, Scorpio, some of you guys, especially since I know from your past readings, uh, some of you guys have been in very much so like a work mode, using your work life as like a coping mechanism. And so because I see some of you guys being in like this hermit period, Scorpio, I definitely see that you, some of you guys probably are in your, have probably been in your head a little bit about, um, not, how about I say, maybe you don't feel like you are working hard enough, but I just want to say Scorpio, you have, you may not have like the, phys mean, you may not be seeing like the physical result, yet i'll say um but this downtime downtime that you might be having this grace period we'll say scorpio i definitely feel like was essential for you because i feel like yeah you could have got you had like a flow of energy right but not addressing those blockages that were like the gunk that was building up on the sides of your canal um you know, as time went on, like the gunk could just build up and you could still get like a little bit of fl energy flow. You could still get a bit of water through there, right? But um, there just seemingly became a point where it's like you took like the couple weeks uh, Scorpio to get rid of that gunk on that side, on the side. It's like that emotional gunk that was weighing you down, that was bringing you pain, tennis swords, right? You finally took the time to address each of these wounds 
because you acknowledge that it's just like, okay, you're not gonna go forward right now um, at this time, but you by investing in taking care of like that gunk, right? In the long run afterwards, it's just going to be an investment of your time because then like the water just flows, the energy just flows so much easier. So you'll be able to just get, cover a lot more ground a lot easier without as nearly as many struggles as you probably have been feeling for a while, Scorpio. Now, I do feel like this is happening at a pretty good pace. Knight of Wands, this is arguably the fastest, I would say this is the fastest card, uh, Knight, out of all of them. This is someone that is just, I see the Knight of Wands as like a mini chariot. So this kind of more so signifies as like, um, something, it, the build up happening, right? So we look at this Eight of Cups here, getting into your actual spread now, Scorpio. And then this is where I feel like the healing comes in. This is where some, you're getting, you're putting some distance, right? You address this Ten of Swords, you address this baggage and by distance of some type, right? You're moving on. So let's see what this looks like, Scorpio. The, you know, it could be a potential of where putting distance between like old thought patterns it could be putting distance between you and like a specific person or a situation that would trigger a certain mindset for you or trigger a certain thought process for you right it could be a lot of things so let's see with these clarifiers we have coming in for you uh scorpio for the clarifiers of the eight of cups um we have the page of swords for you we have the Temperance card for you. I like to just have, it serves no purpose for y'all to know how the message is received, inverted or not. Scorpio, it's all intuitive for me, so I always just like to show the cards upright rather than complicating things and having you think that it's like, okay, this card was inverted and this one wasn't. It's like, so Temperance card as well for you. And then we have the King of Cups for you, Scorpio. So we look at these three cards and we put them together. And what is this? What message is this trying to tell us with this Eight of Cups? One, a lot of emotion here, right? Uh, we have the King of Cups following you from before, right? As well as the Temperance card coming in here, which is the managing of emotions as well. You look at the individual Scorpio and you see the individual um, balancing out their emotions, balancing out the liquid that's in the cup, right? So with this, it seems to be a uh, putting distance between you, you're putting distance between you and something that would take control of your emotions or trigger some type of emotional spiral for you. So this could be in the sense of Scorpio, maybe a certain person was, um, well, I don't want to say if it was a certain person or not, because I feel like it's more than just like one specific example, Scorpio. It feels like you just are putting distance or just letting go of certain thought processes that would normally give you a bunch of anxiety, right? You're finally, let's just say, releasing the worry about the perception of other people or what other people would say to you with this page of swords here. This is all about communication. This is all about... Um, yeah, I feel like you're just entering like a new state of um, men men like mental clarity. Uh, I hope that makes sense, Scorpio. Maybe I'm being like repetitive in the sense, but I do just get this. <sighs> you're finally seeing the sun, like the clouds, like your vision is starting to clear up. And uh, <laughs> so that's why I just keep on saying like mental clarity, like a mental shift for you, because I feel like what has been like weighing you down has just been like your mental state or like something just weighing you down emotionally whether like and that's like whether those that those that weight came from this ten of swords like an outside action or just like your mindset in general and just going through like a depressive uh period right um i feel like you're finally just shifting from that and the sun confirms that right the sun is the best card in the deck of course so it's like having your cake and eating it too this is definitely like things just working out King, okay yeah this is really good cards so the clarifiers that we have for your sun card scorpio would be the seven of pentacles we have the knight of cups and then we have the king of pentacles scorpio so with this message here you're finally getting some stability 
right? You're getting some stability as the King of Pentacles, your empire, like just laying out the groundwork right it may not be anything too flashy in the moment right now but you're putting in the groundwork for something right now scorpio things are finally stabilizing for you to really um continue going forward right with the seven of pentacles this is an energy or something that tending to the stuff that will help you have like a good harvest in the long run right i kind of just see you scorpio in this sense of um with this Knight of Cups here as well, I see you in the sense of, how would we say? Because here, here's the thing. I don't know if like anything necessarily changes with your harvest, with the Seven of Pentacles, right? I feel almost as if like the opportunities have already been there for a while. Things have already been sitting there waiting for you to grab up at Scorpio. But again, it was like maybe like your mental state or your mindset, something that was like making you weigh down too much for you to really go after anything or for you to like take forward and more ground or furthering more ground. What is the word? I'm struggling so much in speaking right now, Scorpio. It's like covering more ground. That's the word I'm saying. Like you had the opportunity to cover more ground, but you just, because you've been so weighed down, you haven't. And so now that you are starting to lessen that load, that mental load, that emotional load that you've been going through, Scorpio, you are finally going back into appreciating the good things. Not just only appreciating the good things, but being able to enjoy them because you're quickly realizing through like your um, actions, things are blossoming a lot more. Things are coming a lot easier for you, it seems. So now let's look at this Four of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles is that investment card, right? So this is something that you put a lot of energy into initially. Let's get some insight on this. So right now we have the Five of Swords for you, Scorpio. We have the moon card coming in for you as well. And then we have the four swords following you. So Scorpio, for these to be your clarifier for your four of pentacles, this lets me know of you, you've been stressed out. You've been stressed out about um, trying to, for a while, as dare I say, like it's like, Scorpio, you've been like holding yourself back on doing something for a while because you were so unsure about what would happen after you invested your four pentacles into something, right? You would always be freaking out. You would always be overthinking, be like, oh, should I do this now? What if like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Whatever was in your mental state that sabotaged you from going forward, I feel like this, because of this mental shift in you, this kind of changes it's such a big thing for you because it shifts not only just like how you, um, how much more in control that you have of your emotions, but because of this, it really, again, as I was saying before, like unblocks you from investing your pentacles, right? I feel like before, like you've always had these pentacles to invest in, but you always were so scared of the unknown and you're only so scared of the unknown before because you never healed past traumas or past issues. You know, maybe let's just say for an example, uh, Scorpio, you always, like you had a birthday party at 11 years old and you invited a bunch of people, but no one came. Ever since then, you never wanted to do any type of event that made you like the focal point. You never wanted to put yourself out there because you never wanted to end up being in the same scenario when you were 11 years old and you didn't have anyone at your birthday, right? And so you being able to overcome that fear or overcoming like the uh, sense of abandonment or what have you, right? That finally allows you to put yourself out there. That allows you to finally put invest in your pentacles, right? And so then we get into your final card, Scorpio, your four of wands, right? This is the celebratory card. This is the 1111 card. You look in the look in the back there of this card, Scorpio, and you see the the portal. We'll say. So let's get the clarification cards for this Four of Wands and see what's up here. All right, Scorpio. So for your final card, card, the Four of Wands, the clarifiers that we have for you. King of Coins following you or the King of Pentacles, right? 
So really stability. Ten of Wands. Ten's following you as well. And I always associate Ten's the closure of cycles. Scorpio, so really emphasizing that. Yeah, Ten of Wands twice. And you have the Two of Wands, or Two of Swords. Or ten of Swords once. Ten of Wands twice. Two of ten of Swords once. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then we have the Six of Cups for you. So, yeah. You're releasing a lot of past issues. And I feel like your past issues was what was keeping you from stability, um, Scorpio. Uh, so, and I don't feel like this is something that's happening overnight. I don't feel like this is something that's just done or only occurring in this week, Scorpio. I see this as like a the... The things are just in this process for you. I think the gears are turning, you know, forward movement is just finally happening again for you. Um, and I feel like each day that goes by, the more that you address this like 10 of wands issues that you've had from the past has been with you for probably since childhood, since six of cups is a card of for, um, is a card of like from the past, like, you know, like since childhood, we'll say, and that being attached to your Ten of Wands, that baggage. Um, definitely, Scorpio, you're healing a lot of past stuff, doing a lot, letting go of a lot of past things, which really al allows you and like makes you just a lot more open to things to come, right? It allows you to no longer just be blocked off. And I don't feel like even on, you probably will be surprised yourself, Scorpio, by like, you probably weren't aware of how like weighed down you were by certain aspects of your life until afterwards. It was just like, once you let go of that baggage, you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't know how much weight you were carrying around. Like you were carrying around, right? So, uh, yeah, Scorpio, that is the cards that I have for you. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Scorpio. And then also, I do weekly general tarot readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that you think might be into my tarot messages, I would love for you to share my videos with them, Scorpio. Until next time, I love you so much.